Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to have a quick chat to you guys about getting the Elder Scrolls Online working through Steam. Some people have issues with the launcher not actually loading um, and that happened to me uh, last night. So currently Steam's got a sale on Elder Scrolls Online. It is 40% off um, and I ended up purchasing this last night on a whim. Downloaded the 60 gigs, clicked the play button uh, the launcher would come up or the the install of the launcher would come up it would get to 100 percent close the app and nothing would happen after that now how i fixed it first of all i tried uh many options or many uh ideas through the forums one of them was to make sure steam is running through administrator to do this you can set it to run administrator all the time by going into the properties of the shortcut compatibility run this program as administrator make sure that's checked load steam and try running it that way if it doesn't work then i would suggest following the step that worked for me now this is quite simple i will step you through it so first of all we're going to c drive um, now by default the users folder for windows 10 is on c drive going into users then we're going into the folder of the person we're currently logged in as I'm currently logged in as that on my machine then we're looking for the app data folder now the app, app data folder may or may not be there for you guys it is a hidden folder if you can't see it just click view at the top here make sure this is checked so hidden folders is checked so we'll do that again hidden folders is checked if it's unchecked you can't see it hidden folders bang app data local and then we're scrolling down to the temp folder. Inside the temp folder, we have many, 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 many folders, but we're scrolling down for one that is entitled, uh, I'm assuming that's a capital I or a lowercase L, so it's 148706 something, something, something. So we're going into that folder. Install data, disk one, inst data, and we're looking for this resource resource1.zip file. Now inside here, if you open this up, you, you probably have to have uh, some sort of uh, zip archive program running on your computer. I think Windows actually does come with one by default. I'm using WinRAR. Um, and inside the zip file, there is a folder called IA Project Dir. Then you're going into Source Path. And then there's a folder called Launcher. Now inside Launcher, we see the Bethesda net launcher.exe which is what we want to get so what I would what you need to do now is you want to extract this launcher now I extract it onto C drive oh sorry onto desktop just uh, just f f for now close out of that and then you want to find where you've installed your where you've installed the game through Steam. So my Steam library is actually on H drive. Um, so you'll you'll have a Steam library uh, folder um, within your Steam folder as by default. So wherever your Steam's installed, there'll be a Steam library folder. Inside there, you've got Steam apps, common, and then you've got Zenimax Online, which is the um, folder for Elder Scrolls Online. Now. Most of the people that have installed it directly from Steam won't have a launcher folder in here. This won't exist. So what you're doing then is you're moving the one that you've just extracted from that zip file into here. As you would, uh, you'd move it into there. And then what you would do is you'd go into launcher and you would run Bethesda launcher.exe. This will update the launcher files within here. It'll also update your uh, Visual C um, applications that are required to run the game. Once that is done, it will close out of the launcher. I recommend rebooting your machine and then loading the game up through Steam as you normally would. This worked for me. I had it working um, after doing this and I had no issues since then. So I hope this, guy, this helps you guys. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.